So, we fixing everything. Because there is always something to be fixed, subscribe to the channel. It might be helpful to fix everything and it will definitely make me very happy if I manage to help you today. Uh, I bought a old Bosch GSR 12 volt battery drill that it works but it doesn't work because the battery is dead so that's a nickel cadmium NICD battery 12 volts melt in Malaysia 1.5 amp hours that it's supposed to be charged with that charger so it's charging the battery but uh, it just doesn't work properly. I already have a set of drills, my Kita ones, but because this one was only 5 euros, I decided to buy it because it's Blue Bosch and Blue Bosch is stuff, it weighs a ton. Got a little shake inside. So, what I'm gonna do, because it's 12 volts, I'll convert it to be running on a normal car battery. So, when I use it, I'll just use it with a cord connected to a car battery and I'm not gonna bother with uh, batteries. What else you can do is buy an adapter and just use it via a, another uh, another battery. Oh, this is 18 volt, but you can find a 12 volt or you can change the cells inside. Uh, in Europe, they don't want to sell nickel cadmium batteries anymore. Or you can uh, take an 18 volts battery and uh, put a buck converter inside, all kinds of stuff. Today we're going to do it the easy way. We'll just use it via a, a, a normal car battery. So let's take it apart. There is one in there as well. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole right from there and we're gonna run a cable with little leads going in okay now just take some uh, compressed air and I'll blow everything off so we don't have any debris going on in here can I do something no I'm not gonna open the chuck to lubricate it I'll just leave it as it is. I'll just blow the dust out. Okay, I blew it off. I took it apart so I can uh, blow the other side as well. So, what I'm gonna do... Oh! I have a ghost guest at the garage so I'll just speed up the video while I'm doing it I'll show you the end result fortunately I just couldn't film it I did something wrong but what you can see I chopped the connector for the battery I don't even oh there we go it was here I chopped it and with a chalk block I connected the wire that I'm using straight to a battery. Let's uh, 
it's even connected to the battery right now let's see okay it's working perfectly fine let's see if we got torque yeah plenty of torque that's on the second speed that's on uh let's see on 20. plenty of power so what i'm gonna do i'll just open it up again that's proving the concept that it can work on a battery what i'm gonna do i wanted to um, solder it should i leave it like this yeah we'll leave it like this I don't know that it's not uh, weatherproof. Let's take. Uh... We'll take some hot glue and I'll just uh, hot glue it. That's my compressor running, sorry for that. Let's leave it to uh, cool down a little bit. Maybe I can put that handle in here and make it even more secure. I think so. Let's see. I'll just use some more hot glue. The point is to uh, not be able to pull the cable out of the machine, just to be strong. Okay, let's uh, put the top part on.
I don't think this will make for a very strong connection. I have an idea. <clears throat> yeah, I'll give me a second. I'll just take a drill bit and I'll drill through the housing. And then on the other side as well. zip tie go through here and I'll just zip tie it I think that's gonna be yeah when we yank it off it can go off I think this is the direction yeah. Part. Again. Fortunately, it doesn't fit nicely. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Now, let's fit all the screws back on and uh, do a test. Only if I knew where my screws are. Oh, there we go. Ask me in the comments how long the battery is gonna last. I don't know, mate. It might last weeks if you don't use it. But when you use it from your car battery, uh, your car battery should be always charged. So a battery you can't really do a lot of harm. Now the charger can be used for something else and the battery is complete, thank you. And the battery is complete way right? so can I? No I can. Ah. Okay, so that was a bit over tightened. Hmm? Okay. Let me let's uh I think we should give it a test. Let's take a piece of wood. Something like 
minus and a eight millimeter drill maybe yeah the check is uh, 10 millimeters so I got a battery and the voltage of the battery we can see the voltage just a normal car battery huh Twelve point twenty-five, so it's not really supercharged. That's in first gear. Let's uh, change it. Second gear. Uh, we need. There is a nail. Oh, it's definitely drilling. Let's see if we can turn some screws. I have a... Where is it? This one. Let's see where my screws are. I have some. Here. Just normal screws. Let's see with the clutch on number ten. I can't see nothing. The screws are getting hot as well. Let's see again. See that it has enough power. Let's see again. 12.11 volts, 12.12. .12. Mm -hmm. I really like on this uh, blue Bosch that it's very fine and you can put a 1.5 millimeter drill in the check. So, when you put a small drill, I have a big, so, that's the drill, focus, I don't really want to, no, when you have a, such a small drill, it's very important to sit steady in the check, and you can see that there is no play on the front part. And it's uh, and it's very precise. Also, when you can when you can s go slower, it's very precise. I really like that. And I think it's gonna be. It's not that. Uh, it's not that bad actually. Maybe I'll just chop off 
this part here. Just chop it off because it's a little bit in the way. But that's what you can do. That's the battery over there. Just connect it to a normal car battery. That's how you can save your 12 volts machines on the chip. Don't throw them in the bin. You can, I'm sure you can find them something to do with them. It's not getting hot. That's it. I hope the video has been helpful there. Yeah? Like, subscribe if it is. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.